talk a little bit just about, uh, you know, where our team is at this point and uh, where we are moving forward. Um, you know, we went through the first seven weeks, as we've talked about, uh, some is that, uh, you know, really a, a long, strenuous stretch for our football team, uh, magnified by the fact that we started off, you know, on July 27th, I think is when we reported and went, you know, seven straight weeks and had some tough, you know, some really tough contests and opening up with the conference game. So we got we, we got, you know, those two back to back road games leaving the state, uh, you know, def definitely was a difficult task for our football team. Uh, and so I speak about that because I think our team needed, you know, the open week came at a perfect time for our football team. Um, you know, I feel like we got, uh, you know, a lot of good work in um, last week with the guys and we got in at a smart, efficient pace uh, with trying to serve two things is getting a head, you know, getting a head start on our last five games of the season, A, uh, and then B, you know, getting them a chance to get a little bit of rest and get ourselves, you know, more mentally healthy uh, as well as physically healthy. Uh, and then taking the second part of the, you know, the last couple of days of the week, uh, Thursday afternoon, Friday, Saturday, uh, and really saturating uh, our recruiting uh, all across, uh, you know, the California. We sent four coaches into California, JCs, multiple coaches into uh, Texas and then into the Kansas and Mississippi junior colleges as well. So got a lot of good work and the guys, you know, did a nice job. And, and, and I think we're, um, you know, even ahead of where, uh, we've been in the past with that stage of things, which I think is important uh, for us as well to try to t maximize our time there. Um, as we went, as we go through this week and go through uh, last week, you know, obviously the things that we want to uh, clean up. You know, you want to clean up the things you're, you're not doing doing well. You know, there's been heavy emphasis on us to clean up our our, our red zone finishing, just fin not red zone going and goal line finishing. You know, drives. I think that's going to be important for us down these last five games that we finish drives at a high rate, and I, and I think we're built to do that because we can run the football well. And so I think our we we should be more efficient in the red zone. I think we just need to work towards doing that. We're spending more time there, uh, putting more emphasis, trying to be. You know, have the best schemes out there for our guys to execute, and then executing the schemes at a high level, um, and then uh, you know winning the turnover margin. Right, that's been the things that have kept us from getting wins, and in, in the games that we've lost is losing the turnover margin. So we got to, you know, again, that's focus for us as well. Um, I think. Um, you know, uh, getting a third receiver to step up, you know, is really important for us as well. Emphasis, we have plenty of talent. I mean, our, our receiving crew's got lots of talent and there's just some young guys there that have to, you know, step up and get their focus, practice focus to where it needs to be. So their level during the games is high enough to allow us to, to have success in games. And like I said, there's plenty of talent for us to do that uh, as well. And so, you know, those have been those are the, the areas of emphasis to minimize giving up the big plays. You know, uh, we don't want to give up big plays. We want to create more big plays. Last year, we created a lot of big plays uh, and did, um, you know, a lot of things that way to get our completion yards per completion at a high level. So I thought that was a positive. I've gone back and watched um, just tape of last season. You know, obviously watch this, uh, us playing some of the opponents that are coming up. And I do feel like as I watch our team perform right now, in a lot of areas, I think we're a better football team, a, a much better football team as I compare how we're executing. So I'm very excited uh, about the last five weeks uh, as some of our younger players have got more and more experience at some of the positions where we've had to bring those guys along, whether it was due to injury or just losing some guys to graduation. And so I'm really looking forward to our football team, you know, having the opportunity now to play three of our last five games at home and having one more open week ahead of us in these five week stretch. So I think it's set up really good for us. We just need to take care of business, play good home football, which we've been able to do uh, over the last uh, three seasons. We've been able to defend you know, our home turf pretty well, and that's going to be important for us with those three games coming up and then obviously two uh, road games, but they're in the state of Texas, you know, and so the trips won't be as difficult for our team. So I like the way the schedule's laid out. We just need to take advantage of it. And it obviously just starts with one game at a time. And uh, Florida Atlantic, you know, definitely is a team that's got lots of, you know, physical talent. They're, they got good size uh, up front on their offensive line. They got two really talented running backs. 
you know, a good group of wide receivers, a quarterback that's very athletic and, and has really improved as a quarterback throughout his uh, last two years. And then defensively, they play a lot of guys on defense. They rotate a lot of defensive linemen. They rotate through their linebackers. They've been rotating their secondary. I mean, they play as many guys as anybody that we faced all year uh, because they're able to get that kind of talent down uh, in the state of Florida. And they have a lot of talent all across the board, across their defense. And so for us, it'll be a, you know, a, a challenge for us, um, but one that's um, uh, one that uh, we need to be up for and play really good football. We've proven that when we play good football, we can play with anybody on our schedule. And so we just need to, like I said, do the things that I talked about, get better at those things, uh, improve on those things, and we'll have a, you know, a really balanced football team. So I'll open up to questions from there. How do you get off to a little bit better start? Yeah, that's a yeah, yeah. That's probably something I didn't hit on, Brett. That I wanted to hit on something that we gotta be better at, you know. And uh, that's pretty obvious. Our first quarter uh, effort hasn't been good, and I think it would definitely be a a positive for us to do that. So. You know, I think we might strain, you know, change strategies on what we do. We've been a heavy defer, you know, defer, uh, you know, and letting them take the ball first. I'm not sure if we'll do that, you know, moving forward. I still got to evaluate. That's a little bit based on weather at the time of kickoff. But I do, you know, feel confident that our offense can, you know, maybe take the ball first and generate some, you know, maybe generate a lead first for us. I think that would be very helpful for us. Um, and then we got to be smart about not turning the ball over early. You know, I think that's one of the things that we got to be smart with the football. We got to do what we do best, which is run the football on offense and, 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 and minimize turnovers. And then, and I think that'll help our start. So more than anything, you know, I've been involved in seasons where you might not be good at one quarter, might not be good in another. And, uh, you know, there's not a whole lot of ways to, you know, change that except for just do what you do best in those type of situations. So, you know, we might tweak a little bit of our strategies there, but it's definitely important, very important for us to get off to faster starts. How much of a, you brought up the turnovers, how much of a point of emphasis was that during the bye week and kind of on top of that, how do you – Change that out to yeah, I, I think we'd be more patient, Colin, you know, and it was a, it is an area of emphasis. And I just think we'd be more patient. And, and no matter what happens, no matter what the score of the game is, you know, if, for, if we happen to, you know, fall behind early, you know, and don't have a great first quarter, which we haven't really started well uh, this year. If we don't start well, just stay to what we do and be patient with what we do and don't force things. I think that's what's led to some of the turnovers, just trying to do too much. Um, Trying to, you know, if we fall behind, trying to catch up with one play instead of just doing it with a patient mindset. So that's, that's, that's a big part of what we're talking about right now. In terms of, you talked about a little bit in the opening statement, the five games left, um, you've got to win, obviously, three wins. Sure. And you're big on the one and one mentality, but how much do you bring that up to the guys, too? Not at all. You know, really not at all. But is it there? Yes. I mean, that's obviously, you know, uh, be a really neat accomplishment for us to be able to do that, you know, back to back years. But we can't do that until we win this one. Right. We can't start thinking about it. And so that's really important uh, as, a, as a football team is to be able to lock into what we're doing. But obviously uh, it's there for us. If we can just play good football down the stretch, the opportunity is right there in front of us. But we can't do it unless we play good football because each one of these five opponents we play is like I've said our league is so evenly matched that whoever plays best on that given game day is going to win the game and so it's going to be important for us to improve on the things we need to improve on and keep doing the things we're doing well and get better at those things as well so we really do have to take the one and oh mentality to what we're doing right now. Colin kind of mentioned that it's crash time at the moment do you think that your team reacts better to being under pressure? Oh, I don't know. You know, I don't, I, I don't, you know, I, I think uh, our team's locked in. I think we needed a, a break. I really do. I think that um, uh, they understand that, uh, you know, they want to have the opportunity to get to a bowl game again. I mean, it's really important to them. They had, they really enjoyed the experience last year. They really, really did. Um, and, and, and it means a lot to them. So I think there's a lot for them to play for. And so I think they're excited about the opportunity and it showed in our preparation. Uh, through last week and then our practice this morning. How do you get a handle on their, I mean, they got one of the best run games, obviously, in the conference. And, and yep. tackle, is, is tackling been a little bit of a problem because you're one of the 
path? Well, I don't know if it, I don't think we tackled as well last week, you know, and I think we're going to get challenged by their run game for sure. Um, definitely. And, um, you know, uh, I think we just get ourselves in better position around the ball and we'll tackle better, you know, do, you know, be, be as sound as we can. But, but I think they're going to challenge us, Brett. I do think they run the ball well, like you said, definitely be a challenge for us to stop their run game. Um, they run it, you know, as well as anybody that we play, for sure. What's been the difference for Perry this year? Um, it, it just seems like he's had yeah. a really good year. He's had a much better year. I think he's just more comfortable in their system um, more than anything because we've talked about that, you know, uh, with the defense. I've talked about that, why why we think he's performing better. And I just think it's his second year in the system. He's just more comfortable with the system. And, and um, you know, he's just um, – Playing more level-headed with what he's doing. Okay, thanks, everybody. Appreciate it.